Lisa, we've heard what the Republicans are saying. They will only be considering raising the debt ceiling if they get some sort of extractions on spending from the Democrats. Biden says they will not be taken hostage. Do you see the, this Republican Party in the House taking this to the brink? Yes, I absolutely do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that we what we watched last week with the fight for the speakership, this is absolutely where this party is going to take the fight over and over again. But debt ceiling is absolutely the fight that's going to be the hardest to get through. It's the one that people say could really be the one that comes to, uh, to, to bring Speaker McCarthy to the end of his speakership in a very short term. This is the fight that they are willing to have, and uh, the White House absolutely has to take it back to them. And the Washington Post is reporting that there's this maybe behind the scenes deal, not on paper, that they would prioritize some planning, then that's what they would take to Treasury in terms of what they were willing to raise debts on. Logistically, can they do that? Well, it doesn't sound like it's something that could be happening. I mean, it does, there are a lot of questions about what kinds of deals were struck behind the scenes and what kinds of things have been, have been worked out. I do also think, though, that the hope in, in, the, in the realistic part of the conference is that they'll be able to work it out behind the scenes. Of course, we saw, though, that none of that really got worked out behind the scenes. It's going to work out in front of all of us, and the American people are really going to pay the price for all of that. Jeannie, we've talked about the possibility of that ending Kevin McCarthy's career as speaker. If he does not strike a deal that the conservative wing of the Republican Party in the House favor those who challenged his speakership to begin with. Will we see that motion to vacate? Will we see an attempt to remove the Speaker of the House? Yeah, I mean, I think we will. You know, one thing that has surprised me is, you know, there seems to be on Wall Street sort of this assumption that this is all going to work out, that, you know, yeah. calmer heads will prevail and that the debt ceiling will either be suspended or, you know, lifted or suspended. You know, obviously, we can all agree we shouldn't have it in the first place, but setting that aside, you know, the reality is, though, and I agree with Lisa, as you watched what happened with the fight over the Speaker, that hadn't happened in, you know, a hundred years. So mm -hmm. now that you need just one person to push for this motion to vacate, that is hanging over Kevin McCarthy's head. And I think there is a very real prospect that Chip Roy, one of the others who struck these agreements that we don't know about with McCarthy, if he doesn't fulfill those, they may pull the trigger on that. And that is a real threat to Kevin McCarthy. That's why he isn't willing to say, you know, suggest that George Santos step down or resign or push him out because he can't mm -hmm. lose one supporter in this environment, and the debt ceiling is the big fight ahead. You can probably uh, envision that possibility, Lisa. We've heard from the White House, though, no negotiating. That's what Karine Jean-Pierre, the press secretary, said repeatedly last week. We will not negotiate over the debt ceiling. These two sides of Pennsylvania Avenue, or at least the House and the White House, are miles apart on this. Is that the best strategy for this White House, though? Let Kevin McCarthy sweat. We're not negotiating. Well, that's the position that they absolutely have to take, Joe. I mean, that's the way that they have to be positioning at this point. I think the one thing that we saw last week while the 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 fist fight was happening on the floor of the House, or maybe almost. Um, there was also uh, a, a real sort of come together from the Senate and in Kentucky. You saw that the leader of the Senate and on the House side, or excuse me, on the Republican side, and the president came together to talk about progress. And that is the way the government used to work. I think that's the way the White House is hoping that they can get to a solution on the debt ceiling. Perhaps they can maneuver with the Senate to get this all done. But I sure think that the House is going to fight back over and over again on it. There's no question. Jeannie brought up Santos mm -hmm. as the former RNC communications director. What should be the Republican message writ large about this individual? Well, you even saw it with Chairman Comer yesterday on CNN, or Sunday on yes. CNN. He did say that he has to step away. He is a, gig a gigantic distraction. It's time for action. He is someone that I think, as we learn more and more about his interactions behind the scenes, he's a liability and he's a threat. And uh, I think that the one obstacle to not getting him out is exactly what Jeannie said, is that Kevin McCarthy needs his vote. Well, yeah, there's a new uh, Where's George campaign that voters started in Long Island. I realize it's funny. They want people to take pictures of him and post it on social media. Isn't that doxing? Are, are there, is, is he going to be in danger if this continues? Uh, it already feels like he is being chased down on Capitol Hill and other places, yes. Well, that's